Hi there, Rodney Sunday here with Hot Shot Outdoors, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the black crystal bugger. Now you've seen in many of my fishing videos, this fly catches most of the fish. Now I'm going to show you how to tie it. What we did, we take a Tomiko size 8 52-63 style streamer hook and put a 3 16 inch gold bead head on the front and put some extra lead wire weight right up against it. Now we're going to tie in our thread here and then wrap up over the lead to the back of the bead securing it in nice and tight and wrap back over the lead and be sure to get a smooth transition here onto the hook. You don't want any sharp points coming up when you're wrapping your materials forward. So bring that back to about where the point of the hook is. Tie off the thread. Take some blood quill marabou here. And I usually like to make my tails about as long as the hook shank, maybe a little bit longer. So get where you want, tie it in, using a couple tight wraps there. After you're satisfied, cut off your stem, secure it down. Next we're going to be taking some crystal flash and tying that in. I usually take three or four strands, you don't need a lot, a little goes a long way here plus you got a bunch of other flash on this fly so take like three or four strands clip them and tie them in spread them out evenly on the top of the top of the tail here secure them down some tight wraps, trim the front, and trim any stragglers here in the back. Once you got that in, we're going to take small length of gold wire, and the wire do, what the wire does is helps hold down your material so after you catch a number of fish on it it doesn't unwrap itself just helps secure the fly tie that in right in the back here leave that in the back next we'll take our black crystal chenille you don't need a lot about four or five inch strand tie that in with your other materials and bring your thread back to the front behind the bead head now you're ready to start wrapping forward make sure you get nice even wraps with your chenille here you want you don't want your body too big in some places and too small in the other. Once you get it up to the front, secure it with your tying thread. I like to pull it back here. Build it up right like that. Trim up your tying thread or your chenille there. Now you want to start weaving your wire up through you don't want to catch many fibers here you want to keep your fly with a nice profile but just help secure it down a little more and once you get that there bring that up to the front and tie it in with your thread cut off your extra Make some more securing wraps in the front. And you're ready to whip finish your, your fly. Do 
one more for good luck. Cut your thread. And there you go. The black crystal bugger. This is probably my go-to fly. Most of the trout streams I fish. Great fly imitates bait fish, leeches, crayfish, worms in the water. Great fly for trout, bass, carp. Fish the whole spectrum with this. Thanks for watching.